All right, so in this video, we want to create our login page. And in the next one, we will talk about logging out. So at the moment, we don't know if we are logged in or not. So let's start by going to handle inertia request middleware that we created in the first video. And remember, we talked about this share function in one of the videos that you could create global variables. And we want to make the authenticated user accessible by any component. So I'm going to go to inertia documentation under shared data and then copy this block of code and just paste it here. So we talked about this briefly. We have two ways to expose this data to our components. The first one is the simple way that we did before and that is the synchronous approach or we could do it lazily and we're going to use this one for our app so we want to create an auth object with the user property in it and we want to check if the request user is true or exists then grab the id and the name we don't want the email so i'm going to get rid of it otherwise it should be null so now if we go back to our application and inspect the site go to view dev tools and look at our inertia component we have props under props we have auth and then a user that is set to mic with the id of three so if we check our database this mic user has the id of three so this user is actually logged in now since we don't have login functionality i'm just going to delete this laravel session from our cookies and give it a refresh go back to view dev tools look at inertia props auth user is null now all right so this is going to be very much like the register functionality so we want to create two routes so i'm just going to copy these register routes paste them here and change the values so we want to go to forward slash login we would have a component called login and the name is going to be login. Same thing for the post route. We should go to forward slash login and we would have a function in our auth controller called login. Now let's create the view for it. Inside the auth folder, I'm going to create a login view and let's just say login for now. Then we want to go to our auth controller and create a login function, accept the request and let's just die and dump that request object. And now let's go to our layout, create a link for it where we have the register. I'm going to copy that link and paste it again, change this to login as well as the text. OK, so now we have the link up here. If we go to login page, we see the text. So for the login component or form, I'm going to copy everything from register. Then we will change things around. So let's just paste it here. And from the top, let's see what we need to change. So the imports are correct. We don't need a name or password confirmation. So we can get rid of those. When we submit the form, we want to go through the login route. And on error, we want to reset the password. There is no password confirmation. For the head, we want to say login. And for the title, let's say login to your account. And the form submit is the same. We don't need this text input for the name. We do need the email and the password but we don't need password confirmation. So let's delete them. And down here, we say already a user. We can change it to need an account, then register. Now we have a link so we can bind this href to route and then register. And in fact, we can go to our register view component and bind this href to the login page since it exists now. So let's say route and login. And back to our login component, we want to change the button to log in and i think we're done so this is our login form so if we press log in we get our die and dump and we have our email and password which is set to null and we can go to our login function and actually log in the users so let's go to laravel documentation and i'm just going to copy everything here and just paste it here so again we did this in the laravel series so we want to first validate the input fields so our email is required and it must be type email the password is also required and we will save them inside this fields variable if the validations pass then we want to attempt to log in the user using these properties and if that was successful we would regenerate the session and we would redirect the users to the home page so since we don't have a dashboard let's just say forward slash and if there was an error we would return back to the login page with this error message that would be shown under the email field so this is all laravel there is nothing about inertia here so let's test this out i want to press login we get error messages and if i add something here that doesn't exist in our database we see this message so the error messages work but let's log in with a proper user 
and it works so one thing i want to add here is that remember me section and this is quite easy so just above the button i will have a div and i will add a label that says remember me and an input field type checkbox we don't need any of this i want to create a v model for it that is going to be form dot remember so we don't have this let's go up and just create it up here and set it to null and maybe we could reset it if there was an error and let me add some classes here flex and items center let's see how it looks this is the one maybe i can move them around add a gap of two so i'm going to move this p tag that is the link for register inside this div and then create another div and have my input field in there then i want to say justify between then i don't need the gap here and just add some classes to this div and the wrapper div i don't need margin bottom here i do need it on the wrapper itself so margin bottom two let's see how it looks it looks okay so i'm going to leave it as it is and let's open our database so right now none of these users have the remember me token and i want to use this mike user so the last one and see if this works so i want to use mike's information and press remember me login we are back to the home page and we don't have a token here because i think i forgot to add it here yes so in this attempt function i forgot to add that remember property so after the field i can use that request remember here and let's try again so log in and provide the information and press this checkbox press login and back to the database now it works i also added this for attribute and the id for this checkbox so if i click on the name it would also check and uncheck it all right so that is our login and now let's talk about logout